Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my Kiki K. I actually haven't filmed a plan with me in my Kiki K like ever, even though I have been using this um, planner for quite a few months. I picked this up, oh my goodness, I can't even remember, maybe late last year for the new year. Um, and I've been using this planner ever since January, I think. So today I'm finally going to be doing a plan with me in my Kiki K. I am using Erin Condren compatible um, inserts. Um, I'll show you those a little bit later, but the kit that I'm going to be using today is one for Milo and Milk. I am a PR girl for Milo and Milk, um, so I do have a discount code if you guys want to use it. I will leave that in the description box below. But today I'm going to be using this gorgeous moon kit. I've been hoarding this kit for so long um, and it is so beautiful. I absolutely love the design and I'll just quickly flip through all of the pages that you get in this kit. So these are all of the full box checklists. They're gorgeous. They have a moon design on it. It's purpley and blue. Um, these are the gorgeous headers. I love these so much. I think they're so pretty. I am literally obsessed with this washi. I think it is so pretty. I like how there's also little stars in them as well. These are all of the pretty full boxes. I like how you get a mix of like sort of like light ones over here and here and then you have like some darker blues as well. These are some of the half boxes. You get eight of these. These are the date covers and some extra um, I guess you can use this as washi. You can also use it as a half box if you would like. And then here are all your water trackers, happy trackers, some flags with the moon design as well as some checklists. So those are all the things that you get in the moon kit from Milo and Milk Co. Today I'm also going to be using um, just a regular black pen. This is my favorite one that I picked up on AliExpress. And I'm also going to be using some of my own stickers. If you guys don't know, I do have a Etsy shop. Um, I have the link down below in the description box. And these are some of my designs. Obviously I've been using a lot of these already. I do have a chibi girl character. Her name is Nova and this is her. She is so adorable. She has pink and blue hair and I have her doing a bunch of different activities. I also have some more kawaii ones. These ones are my social media ones and I have them in a variety of different um, social media platforms. Here are some Nova half boxes for reading. I do have some Bujo stickers as well. So these are like some marbly textures, some more kawaii ones. These are absolutely like, these are some of my favorite stickers to use. I'm almost done this sheet. Um, what other ones do I have? I have some Bujo ones. I am almost completely done this sheet of um, paper clips. I have some more like doodly ones, some deco ones, and basically I just have a lot. I just wanted to share with you guys because some people don't know that I do have a shop on Etsy. Just wanted to quickly show you guys some of the stickers that I have. Um, and today I'm going to be using them in um, the spread that I'm going to be doing. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've been using this planner for a good number of months already and I absolutely love it. Planning in this just makes my life so much easier. I do not have an Erin Condren anymore this year, um, but I do have Erin Condren compatible um, inserts. These inserts um, are from Viva Stationery. It was a freebie on her blog. So if you check out her blog, just type in Viva Stationery blog on Google um, and you can find these inserts. I just printed them off and cut down the page to A5 size. And that is what I've been using for the past um, couple of months. Now for me, when I'm planning, I really enjoy doing um, white space planning. Some people like doing no white space planning, but for me, I really like doing white space planning, as you can see. Um, this was another kit from Milo and Milk that I really liked. Uh, the paper that I print my inserts on are actually, um, they're actually 20 pound paper. I know a lot of people really like um, printing on thicker paper, like 32 pound. However, I find that my pen works fine. Um, this bunny pen that um, I like using works fine on this. There is little to no ghosting on the other side of the page as you can see um, and I really like it. I think the pen stands out really nicely on the paper and uh, my planner doesn't get too bulky as well. So as you can see I do a lot of white space planning um, and normally in this planner I like using a lot of leftovers. I used a lot of kits in my Erin Condren before um, and I have a ton of leftover kits so I decided to just use all of those in this planner and I've been really liking how it's been turning out. This is probably one of the only spreads that I actually used um, full boxes which makes it look a little bit more not busy but a little bit more full. 
And this kit was also from Milo and Milk as well. It is gorgeous. I think one of the most important things for me when I'm planning um, in my Kiki K is definitely like washi and extra headers um, because the inserts that I um, use they have like kind of like this grayed out um, header. I really like adding washi on there just to physically divide up these boxes which I really like. So let's go ahead and get started um, with this plan with me. I'm just going to take out the pages that I'm going to be working on so it's a little bit easier for me to write. And we can get started. So for this video, I'm not going to speed it up and add some music like I normally do with my plan with me's. I'm just going to basically talk through it just so it is a little bit easier for me. I'm going to start by putting on some of these date covers and they actually fit quite well. Um, Um, I really like how all of these date covers are all together. I think that's really nice. And actually, with the way that I cut these um, inserts, I can actually cover both the date as well as the um, first header. So I don't need to use extra washi on that, which is nice. And it fits really nicely as well. So I'm obviously going to need to cut this um, header over here, obviously, because my Sunday is down here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of DIY. I'm going to start putting it down here. And then just cut it off at the end. Oops. This is basically how I plan, like, all the time. <laughs> I'll put this one a little bit lower. There we go. And everything fits quite nicely. Uh, I'm thinking about also using the bottom washi because it is so pretty. Um, in Milo and Milk kits, you do also get, like, these long skinny strips of washi. Sometimes I use that to divide some of my boxes if I want to. I know it is used for like the space in between here if you want completely like no white space planning. Um, but today, should I put on this bottom washi? You know what, why not? We'll just put on the bottom washi anyways. Um, I will have to do a little bit of trimming as well again. Just because the Erin Condren is a little bit different. So this will cover up a little bit of that bottom box there, but that is completely fine with me. I'll save this for another use another time. And I'll just lift up this one as well. Ooh, that looks so pretty already. I'm actually not going to be using these full boxes right now. Sometimes when I plan, um, I use kits for multiple weeks. So say I'm using the date covers for this week and the washi on this week. So the next week after this or the next week that I decide to um, use this kit, I will use the full boxes instead. And I can even use these full boxes as headers if I want to. I'll just need to um, put a number as well as um, a date cover or just like the day of the week, so like Thursday, on top of this and I can just cut them to whatever size that I want. Or I can use these as actual full boxes and just write in the dates. So I do have some of these hexagon stickers from my own shop that I'm going to be using as date covers. So I'm going to write the number of the day on here and then I'm just going to stick them on. But actually I think these are a little bit too large so I'm going to cut these in half. So I'm going to use some of these bottom ones over here, I'm just going to cut them in half first. I'm actually going to stick them on here so I can trace out the, num the numbers because it's sticker paper anyways. So I can stencil in some of the numbers that I want to use. So now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to take my pen and just write in the numbers with this Hobonichi stencil. I love this stencil so much. It is so helpful. So I'm just going to use this. I have to be a little bit careful because this pen is a little bit on the runny side. Now that these numbers have dried, I'm just going to add them over top. 
If I had smaller circles, I would do this as well. Or just numbers. I think these fit really nicely in here as well. And they match the kit. Okay, so now that I have all of those, I'm going to go ahead and use some of these headers. Because I generally use my kits for more than one week, um, sometimes I don't have enough meal stickers. So actually what I do is, um, if I have some of these extra ones, with, like these blank um, littles, I will just add a little um, meal planning sticker. These ones are again from my shop. I'll just add one of these over top to cover the icon. And that's actually what I'm going to do right now. I'm not gonna use the actual meal plan stickers. I'll use like the TV ones. Um, and just mix it up a little bit. I'm doing this mostly because I really want to use um, these icons. I think they're so sweet. And I'll just leave a little bit of space in between there. In between the washi and this meal sticker. And then I'll just stick some of these guys on top of it. They're so cute. I really like adding a little bit of extra like Hawaii-ness to my spreads. Generally the kits that I get are very, they're quite girly. I really like um, kits that are quite feminine and like florally as well. Um, but then I also like adding a little bit of cuteness with some kawaii stickers. Which is why I have kawaii stickers in my shop. put some today and to do's over here and I think I can put no not this one I'll put a next week sticker here I need a to clean one on Wednesdays And then I'll just add the bits and bobs one for the other days. Okay, so now that I have the majority of all of my stickers down, I'm going to go ahead and start writing in here. Um, as you can see, normally I like putting my to-do list in the center here, and then at the top, if there is like a certain event on a certain day, um, then I will write that in up here. At the bottom, I just have some extra space. They're not actual full box spaces because of the washi. Um, but in this space, I kind of just Sometimes I like to leave them blank and fill them in throughout the week. Like say I get happy mail unexpectedly um, and I'll just write that in here. So that's why I like white space planning because I'm not really sure um, when things are going to come in. So I'm going to start writing on Monday and then I'll continue to fill this out.
right everyone I think that is about it I think that's all I'm going to fill out for now I did leave um, some extra space as well um, throughout the week so I can kind of um, add things in. Again, this is the reason why I really like white space planning um, and that's because I can add things throughout the week instead of planning a whole week um, just because things might change throughout the week so um, I just like to leave things open just in case. Um, so I'm just going to now put these pages back into my planner. Um, I actually really enjoyed how this kit came out. I think this um, art is so beautiful. I absolutely love galaxies and moons. So that's why I really liked this kit from Milo and Milk. Again, I do have a coupon code for her shop down below in the description box. Um, all of these extra deco-y stickers um, are all from my shop. I do have a code for that as well. And again, that will be down below in the description box. If you like them, you can totally go check them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this plan with me. Um, it was a little bit more creative and a little bit more fun. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!